happening? It's your boy Papa Duck. Listen, just finna get on this rant early in this beautiful uh, morning. Doing my little walk. I'm on the cement right now, but I was walking barefooted on the grass. You see it? And I teach y'all, man, you have to walk 30 minutes a day, man. Barefooted on the ground, man. You have to be grounded. I did a video about that. That's where they get the word ground from. It's like electricity. But well, we'll get into that. I also want y'all to know I do have sea moss, Honduras, sea moss in. I haven't been talking about it a lot because a lot of the orders that we had in was back orders, but we got a little bit in, not much, but hit my DM, you know what I'm saying? We'll get that to you. Do your research on sea moss. Um, I just want to do a little rant today, man. Um, I want to talk about how potassium hydroxide, which is a chemical that is being put in our food, mainly into our baby formula. And this shows a study, a 20 year study that 70% or over 70% of kids that, that was on that baby formula, by the time they was teens, they was attracted to the same sex. Now, a lot of y'all might say, how is that possible? You know, you can argue back and forth with the woo, but I'm gonna tell you something. The government knows way more than you will ever know about your body, about your biology. Because everything you know, they the one taught you. They taught you that a certain way for a certain reason. Just so you can question certain shit and it seems to be so far-fetched only because you're in a box. You got to get out of the box. Now, we could argue back and forth from that all day. But like I tell y'all, look it up. Potassium hydroxide. Matter of fact, check this out. Warrior mode. No, ma'am, your child wasn't born homosexual. That's actually potassium hydroxide that's in the baby formula that you're feeding the child. Look it up. Yes, yeah, scientists at the University of Cambridge did a 20-year extensive study on the correlation between baby formula and their likelihood to become homosexual. Look it up. Yeah, they found that babies given formula at birth for the first one to two years increases their chances of becoming homosexual. They also found that potassium hydroxide was the main reason for this. Potassium hydroxide is one of the ingredients used to make most baby formulas. Look it up. Yeah, potassium hydroxide is an inorganic compound with the formula KOH. Yeah, this compound is used to manufacture biodiesel fuel, soaps, and gasoline. Look it up. Some astonishing findings. Babies who were breastfed for the first one to three years of their life, only 3% grew into adults who were either homosexual or lesbian. Babies who were fed the formula for the first one to three years, 79% of them were attracted to the same sex by their teenage. Take it. I just happened to be off in the store. And we're doing a little shopping. Look, this is baby food, infant food. And look, 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 look right here. Hold this for me. Look right here. I'm going to show y'all. If I can get it to focus. Where is that? What that say? Potassium hydroxide. Do your goddamn research. Hey, what's happening? Before we go any further on this video, yes, your boy moving up a little bit because now I got a sponsor. Shots out to carmarshall.com that's sponsoring these videos. And listen, if you're looking for a new or a used car, hit the link on the bottom of this post, carmarshall.com. And the best thing about it is they negotiate the price for you. So you're on the right site, click the link on the bottom of this post. And this is one of the ways you can help your boy out. You know what I'm saying? This is one of my sponsors. And like I say, it's all good. And hey, if you need a car, new or used, click the link. And they're going to negotiate the price for you. Now, back to the video. Now, I want y'all to pay attention to what's going on in the world, man. You got people speaking on religion, which a lot of y'all are afraid of religion. I don't speak much on religion because I respect whatever you believe in. So please respect whatever I believe in. I believe in the most high. I know man ain't make the sun or the moon. But I damn so do so also know... Damn, I just messed that up. But I do also know that ain't no white dude finna jump on no cross and save you. I do know that. And I hope you know that. So with that being said, I keep telling y'all I'm gonna do a video about words and how words are spells and where all this shit come from. A lot of this stuff is rituals, man. 
Look at Netflix, man. That's all they talk about. Witchcraft, witch this. A lot of the stuff y'all have no fucking clue about. I'm trying to stop cussing. But even that, like I tell y'all, y'all say a bad word, but it's, it's a curse word. Keep telling y'all, you. I, I, I'm going to beat this in your head. Spells, <clears throat> words or spells. That's why they call it spelling. You know what I'm saying? Once you understand that words have energy, that's why they say the tongue is mightier than the sword. It's for a reason. You understand me? Words, man. Y'all don't understand how words are spells. Let me give you another um, example. How they put stuff right under your nose and you do not see it. Rite Aid. That's a um, pharmacy company. I don't know if it's worldwide. Like they, more, I know it's worldwide. But Rite Aid. You see how they spell the word right? They don't spell it R-I-G-H-T. They spell it R-I-T-E. Look up the meaning. That's rituals. Hell, that's the root word of ritual. Look it up, nigga. Like I tell y'all, look at the look at the the Walgreens symbol. It's a mallet. It's a bowl with the with the with the stick in it. That's what they do. They crutches up herbs. It's a ritual, man. All that shit ritual. Like y'all got to understand. When you finna do wrong, that's a negative spirit telling you to go do that shit. That's why they call alcohol spirits. We talked about this the other day. Well, one of the reasons why. Because it suppresses and it it it, it fucks with your conscience. And when you're, why they say a sober heart speaks of, how it go? You know what I'm talking about when you, you know, they say a sober heart speaks of, a drunk man speaks of song, whatever, have it go. But that's the reason why. Because you have to understand, we living in a world where we are, we are being um, told this and told that for a reason. We're being governed by a group of people that can't outpower, outpower us. But what they can do is, is get us here mentally. That's why they say you mentally have chains on your brain. Don't you know that? Everything they know was stolen. Alexander the Great, they made that motherfucker a hero. Alexander the Great, willing to Alexandria, library, stole all the books, all the knowledge, and what he couldn't take, the motherfucker burned it. Crazy part is I've seen cartoons with this shit on it. I've seen Alexander the Great was fighting a three-headed dragon. And ran into the library, read all the books real fast. You know how they do the cartoon shit. When he read all the books real fast, he had the knowledge to defeat those three dragons. This is the shit that's in your kids' cartoons. So that lets you know the animators know what time it is. All this shit is show from Disney. I'm going to show y'all how Disney use smell techniques to get you to buy food. And if you think I'm lying, check this out. Okay, so I'm on Main Street, and Main Street's really known for all its various smells. And the way they do a bunch of these smells is this thing called a smellitzer. The smellitzer was invented by Disney Imagineer Bob McCarthy, and it is used to project smells 200 feet. And I'm here at the Candy Palace. The smellitzers are underneath here. You can see them right down here, all along the road. Now I'm going to get down here. I'm going to smell. That smells like candy. Now, hopefully, I'm trying to open y'all brain and your motherfucking eyes up to see that you're being deceived. A lot of the stuff that, that's, that's been put on you, you have no clue. And a lot of people speak about a relationship. Do you know how far-fetched it is to have a successful relationship in today's society? Do you? Are you crazy? Do you know how hard it is to be with one person in today's society? But, again, silent weapons for quiet wars. I tell y'all about that. You are at war and don't know it. You ain't got to go to Iran and go to no war. You at war right here. Tell you how. The air you breathe. You at war. The chemicals that's in your fucking sink. Please go to Walmart, not Walmart, but please go to Home Depot or Lowe's and get a filter to go over your shower. Because I, I did a video about that. You consume way more 
of the toxics, including fluoride, that's in your tap water in your body when you take a shower, more than you drink. No, the skin is the biggest organ on your body. Like, come on. Like, you're at war. Taking your, dropping your, your children off to school every day. You're at war. You going to school every day. You're at war. The food that you eat, you're at war. Battling with religion and what you want, what you should and shouldn't believe. You're at war. Watching the news. You're at war, and you don't understand this. You ain't got to go to Iran to go to war. Black folks, we catch it the most. I'm going to tell you why. Physically, there's no other human being on earth that can come or compare to us, you know, with our phys like physically. Our brains are bigger. We have melanin in our skin. There's so many natural things about us that a lot of other uh, human beings don't have that's 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 non black that's facts so if you knew like I tell people I had did an interview on this um podcast and they asked me how do I feel about praying I said if you knew the physiologically yeah I, I fucked that word up but if you know you as a black person physically like if you knew what you were made of and what you produce and how you match up with the sun, you wouldn't have to pray. You wouldn't have to pray. And I tell y'all again, words are spells. Don't you know when you pray, you're putting yourself in a vulnerable state. That's what pray is. If I'm praying on what I'm finna eat, that means what I'm finna eat is in a vulnerable state. And I'm finna eat his ass. But you praying. You mentally putting yourself in a vulnerable state. This is why I tell y'all words are spells. And you have to understand that it's just a vibration. The word pray, they try to put it in two different spellings. Visually, it's different. Tonally, vocally, it's the same thing. And this is where the magic happens. How can two words have two different meanings? If you can't say that bitch differently, then it's the same. Pray is pray, whether you spell it with an A or E, however you want to do it. And you have to understand this. And, and a lot of y'all going to be stuck and say, well, how's words or spells? I keep saying that words are energy. You have to understand. I can say stuff out my mouth that can get you to do something. Put you on a, a spell. Because we think spells are this magical Harry Potter bullshit. It's not. It's simple, bro. Very, very simple. Spells. I can say something to you and make you, and put, I can put you in a, I can lower your vibration. I can, I can walk up and say, look at this bitch. Lower your vibration. Or I can hire your vibration. Hey, what's up, queen? How you doing? You look real nice today. And y'all might say, well, how's that something? That don't mean nothing. Let me tell you something. And when you figure this out, you're going to figure out what I'm saying. Like they say, figure this out, you're going to figure out what I'm saying. A robber, run away. Con man, walk away. Figure that out. And then you will understand the power of words. You will understand how words through music can get a whole, I mean millions of people and put them on this frequency wave just off the words. I told you, the acronym MC, which a lot of these new rappers probably don't even know what the fuck it means, stand for Master Ceremonies. Ceremonies or where rituals are performed. What you think the concerts are? Them rituals. So it's your boy Papa Duck, man. Like, subscribe, do what you do. And you know it's all love on my end. Appreciate everybody that been ordering the shirts, the hats and stuff. You know what I'm saying? All that goes right back into what I'm doing. And uh, like I say, man, it's all love. And I don't fuck with humans. Peace out. It's your boy Papa Duck. Man, I appreciate y'all for checking out my videos, man. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, do what you do. Also, follow me on all social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, because you do not want to miss new music, and you definitely don't want to miss another video. At the end of the day, we family, and I'm just trying to get you to open your eyes and see things in a different light. And like I tell y'all, I don't fuck with you humans. <laughs>